Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss uh, the topic plant breeding. Okay, this is uh, a topic in the chapter strategies for enhancement in food production. Okay, what is plant breeding? Plant breeding is a purposeful manipulation of a plant species. Purposeful manipulation of a plant species to create crop varieties, to create crop varieties with desirable characters. Means what? Purposefully, we are uh, manipulating, we are doing this. Okay, what for? To create different varieties which are different from the existing varieties okay with uh, what characters desirable characters what are those uh, desirable characters the desirable characters include increased crop yield with improved quality increased crop yield with improved quality means what uh, the existing varieties are uh, giving us some product but uh, we are not happy with that productivity we want uh, some more so that is increased crop yield and uh, not uh, normal ones quality should be there not only quantity even quality matters so improved quality this quality will uh, depend on uh, uh, the crop plant which we are cultivating suppose uh, uh, if it is a grain uh, producing plant like wheat rice okay barley uh, and these uh, java we okay all these are what grains so we want more productivity more uh, uh, okay more bags per hectare so that's what and suppose uh, if it is a fruit uh, producing plant so we want more fruits more number of fruits but uh, the quality should be good and if it is oil yielding plant so we expect uh, more oil from that plant and uh, if it is uh, uh, fiber yielding plant more fibers soft fibers okay like that uh, uh, quality will uh, depend on uh, the plant uh, which we are cultivating and the second one the tolerance to environmental stresses means what the plants uh, should have this tolerance of environmental stresses like uh, maybe salinity that means they should be able to grow in uh, uh, high salt conditions salty soils or extreme temperatures sometimes uh, the temperature may be very high or sometimes the temperatures may be very low these are what extremities of temperatures they should uh, tolerate uh, even the uh, such temperatures okay and uh, even uh, they should uh, tolerate drought conditions is what even when uh, there is uh, uh, not uh, okay uh, availability of water means what uh, uh, they have to conserve the water so there is the drought the conditions this is what tolerance for environmental stresses and not only that uh, even the plants will get uh, so many diseases and they are caused by different uh, agents and we call them as what pathogens the agents which cause diseases are called pathogens and even the uh, plants uh, uh, are affected by these uh, fungi bacteria viruses fungal pathogens bacterial pathogens viral pathogens they should uh, resist uh, uh, these uh, uh, pathogens then only we can expect this uh, crop yield and improved quality and uh, tolerance to insect pests so sometimes uh, uh, insects also attack the plants so they should have tolerance to those uh, insect pests so when uh, these three are fulfilled then only we get uh, this first feature 
that is increased crop yield so that's why the most important uh, one the desirable character is the first one but uh, this first one uh, depends on uh, the these three which are uh, follow, following uh, uh, this first one so that is what desirable characters and uh, next uh, let us see how what are the steps in plant breeding so now uh, let us see the main steps in plant breeding one is collection of variability second one is evaluation and selection of parents third is cross hybridization among the selected parents fourth is selection and testing of superior recombinants and the fifth one is testing release and commercialization of new cultivars of new cultivars what is this collection of variability means what uh, variations okay are very important in the plant breeding okay so the variations is the fundamental requisite in plant breeding if there are variations then only you go for what uh, other variations means what to create uh, different varieties means what uh, different uh, uh, characters so here uh, uh, suppose we have taken one uh, plant species and that plant species uh, uh, all may not be cultivated you may find uh, some of them even today in uh, the forests and we call such uncultivated uh, plant species as what wild wild varieties and we collect even those wild varieties here and uh, relatives of uh, cultivated species and uh, different uh, uh, varieties will be there okay among that cultivated species all of them are collected in the form of what seeds or they are collected in the form of plants or they are collected in uh, the form of uh, vegetative uh, structures called as propagules all this collection will have uh, uh, okay will have different uh, alleles of uh, all genes and we call this as what germplasm collection so just uh, memorize this uh, uh, definition the entire collection of plants or seeds the entire collection of plants or seeds having all desired alleles for all genes in a given crop is called germplasm collection okay so this plant breeding is actually done in different uh, uh, government institutes like iara okay uh, icar okay and ecrisat like that uh, many are there that is indian agricultural research institute new delhi okay indian council of agricultural research that is icar in new delhi okay international crop research institute for semi arid uh, tropics is what ecrisat in hyderabad so like that uh, many institutes will be there and uh, they will maintain this germplasm collection and we call that uh, as what germplasm banking okay now uh, uh, the second step what they will do is that they will uh, select the parents from this germplasm okay that is evaluation and selection of parents means what uh, uh, they will uh, uh, already they know uh, they have some idea about the desirable character and uh, they will search for the desirable character among the germplasm so that is what uh, the second one evaluation and selection of parents and then uh, they go for what uh, cross hybridization among the selected parents okay cross hybridization means what uh, here uh, uh, selected parents means what one parent is uh, a male parent and the other one is what uh, female parent and these parents are selected with the desirable characters and suppose uh, uh, this plant is producing bisexual flowers both are producing bisexual flowers then how can we uh, call one as male and the other one as a female both are producing bisexual flowers so that's why we have already studied in the morphology that uh, uh, how uh, this artificial hybridization is done or artificial crossing is done 
so here uh, in uh, uh, the female parent they will remove uh, the stamens means what in the flowers of female parent uh, okay uh, they remove uh, the stamens and what we call this removal of anthers or stamens uh, from these uh, uh, female flowers of female parent emasculation okay and now uh, uh, by crossing these means what they collect uh, uh, the pollinates from the male parent and uh, deposit them on the stigma of uh, the female parent okay and uh, after that they cover uh, the flowers and that is called bagging okay and uh, uh, as a result of which uh, we get what a hybrid plant and this hybrid plant will have uh, the combination of uh, uh, the characters of both parents okay uh, like that uh, you will find this uh, cross hybridation among the selected parents and these hybrids okay which are uh, heterozygous heterozygous and uh, you know that from this hybrid uh, they will uh, go for uh, uh, okay selfing and as a result of which what lines are formed pure lines they create uh, pure lines for several generations means what uh, what are these pure lines they are homozygous for uh, the desired characters homozygous for desired characters means what they have uh, uniform characters so after uh, uh, getting these pure lines then they go for uh, the fourth uh, step that is what is selection and testing of superior recombinants means what among these pure lines they will select uh, which one is uh, the best one and where they will do it they will do it uh, uh, in the research uh, uh, fields so superior recombinants and uh, the fifth step is what testing again so this testing is done uh, uh, at two places that is what uh, in the research fields research fields first and later uh, uh, they will go to the different places in the country and they cultivate them in uh, the farmers fields to test whether they are uh, suitable in uh, they are uh, uh, adjusting to all uh, uh, condition, weather conditions in all areas of the country or not. That's why they will uh, do that in the farmer's field. And once, uh, okay, they are happy with this uh, variety, then uh, uh, they will, uh, uh, okay, uh, multiply the seeds by cultivating them for uh, several generations. And uh, those seeds are, uh, uh, okay, uh, they release the, those seeds into the market after uh, certification and the certification is done by NSC that is National Seeds Corporation and that is about uh, uh, commercialization. These are uh, the main steps in the plant breeding.